What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to better improve your command skills. So, I just want to say this as a, dis as, a as a disclaimer, this video will not be explaining how each command works. That is something that, yes, it is like a key to know how every command works, what it does, and how to use it, but... I'm going to be honest that the best way to learn how those work is to just play with commands and learn them on your own. So, let's say you have some free time. Go through and then start just playing with commands. For instance, I don't know, you could do slash scoreboard and then just read like the things that it says. Like, I know it can be a lot and look overwhelming, but take it step by step. So, I mean, for instance, here, first thing it says is objectives. So, I'm just going to type that and then it narrows it down. So, I can see the different things I can type, uh, add, list, remove, and set display. So, let's say I just go to add, and then it helps me here. So, I just have to put a name of a scoreboard, it's, I don't know, just ABC, and then I can put dummy, and then it says display name. So, this is what it would actually show. And then, for instance, let's say I wanted to do, I don't know, just set display. Then, it gives me more options here, which I'm like, okay. Let's say I want to set it to the list, so I would just type in list, and then if I want to, here I just put the name of the scoreboard that I want to show, so here are my four that I have on this world, um, so let's say I just wanted to have it display snake, I would type that, and then I could, I would type one of these in, and actually for this it is optional here, but I mean, just do this with pretty much every command, if you want to do it with, let's say, execute, right? It tells you here everything you need to do. Yes, it's not going to just give you like each command for everything you want to do. But once you get fami like more familiarized with each command, like it'll greatly improve your skills. Another thing that I wanted to say is, you know, just practice. Like, it can be sometimes difficult to practice because it's like you don't know what to do but here in the background this is just a game of snake that i made and it was really just me out of i was bored i had some free time so i was like why not i'll do this it will help me just practice get more familiarized with everything and as well you know it's some um, fun to play to be honest if like i got a few friends on here we could all just play this kind of have a little competition but do little fun things like that and I know some, like, this may seem super complicated, but I'm going to be honest, it's really not. Um, you have to take really everything in steps. Like, as you're working on doing things like this, of course, the newer you are to it, do less complicated stuff. But, like I said, take everything in steps. So, if I head over here, uh, this is all the commands for it. And basically, what it is, is right here this is the whole thing really making the snake work this is a reset and then this is for the apple and then over here this does just a little scoreboard over there showing the stuff rather than having it on the side now i know it does look like a lot but trust me it's really not once you break it down so the first thing i did is right here so as you can see execute at e tag equals snake then the sum is an armor stand and the name is temp and then from there basically it just makes uh the temp armor stand face the same way as the snake one and then the snake armor stands move and then they face the same uh, yeah up here they move here Wait, did I click the same one twice? Uh, yeah, I clicked the same one twice. Sorry about that. Um, here, it just makes a uh, armor stand that move face the same way as the temp that's there. So, face the same way as the previous one. And then, from here, it just kills the temporary one. Which, basically, that's for the movement of it. Um, so, it can move forward one. And, I know that could look confusing, but I'm telling you, just take it as steps. Break everything down. Even once you think you've broken it down more, I'm telling you, you can break it down more. So, like, I broke it down knowing, okay, first thing I need to do is make it move forward. How am I going to do that? Okay, the first step is... Uh, I laid out what would need to happen. I would make it... I could make it simply go forward, but then I would run into the issue of what it's facing. Because if I do a turn, then that would be an issue. So then, 
I had to figure out a way to make it face the same way, which would just be summoning another armor stand that's temporary to have it, like, save the position of the last one. So, really just lay everything out, take it in steps, and then, for instance, after that, I, after I was done with that, I made it actually show the movement, rather than just being armor stands, which is, it just clones this stuff. Then I worked on tones, and then, yeah, I mean, there wasn't too much more to that, besides the player controls, which, to be honest, that wasn't too much either, just, I did the same thing, and really, for every command creation I do, I just take it in steps. Like, it, one, break everything down, if you're making a realm, for instance, don't just say, okay, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a realm, and don't go, don't start doing commands with no idea of what you need to even have. Like, you can, for instance, me, if I'm making a realm, I lay out on signs everything that needs to be in there, so then that's already broken it down one step, and then from there, you can lay it out if you want, like, type it out, um, what needs to go into each thing, but for me, that is more of a mental note I take, but that's really what you gotta think about, like, if you're gonna do a thing where it's, like, a warp spawn, what I do is I would just think, okay, so my end result, I need to drop an item, have it have a timer, and then after that time is up, then it'll teleport me to spawn. So, the first thing is obviously detecting once it drops an once I drop the item, which could be just an execute or a test for it, and then the timer could be with repeaters, with a scoreboard, but, like, after that, it's just once the timer is over, then I teleport them to spawn. You just gotta break it down, and I know it, I'm not the best at explaining it, and I'm not explaining it too well here, but just try it with something. And, like I said before, if you wanna practice, do something like this, honestly, like, I mean, I made a smaller version of this before, um, but this was a lot more challenging, and honestly, it was more fun for me. But yeah, just always, like, be open to testing your skills, make something fun. Don't do it just to do it. I mean, have a reason behind it. It really helps with me motivation to do it, and all in all, like, in the end, you're just getting better. So, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you have any command creations that you want me to make, just leave a comment down below. I check the comments on every video, and yeah, I would be happy to make some. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.